Hey everybody, this is Joe with GeoVision back with another demo tutorial video. Before I get into today's video, if you find the content on this channel useful, please consider subscribing to the channel and also giving the video a thumbs up. For today's video, I'd like to discuss upgrading firmware on the GeoVision access control panels. Keeping your firmware up to date is the best practice to making sure that it will function properly and stay connected to the GeoVision AS Manager software. So I do want to show the proper process of how you would do a firmware upgrade on GeoVision Access Control Panels. So the first thing that you will want to do is go to the GeoVision website and you will want to navigate to find the Access Control Panel that you have. And once you are on the panel's webpage here, you can simply go to the download button and it will bring you into all of the downloads related to that product. You can then just download the firmware, as you can see right here, version 2.41 is the latest. And when you do that, you can take and extract the file. Now it is best to extract the file and look inside the folder because inside the folder, you will find a uh, file. It will be a PDF file and it will tell you um, if you need to do a step upgrade or if you can just directly upgrade to the latest. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the folder. As you can see right here, there is a PDF and in all caps it says warning must read before upgrade. So it's probably a good idea to go ahead and look at that file. So whenever you open it, <clears throat> you'll be able to scroll through here and you can locate which uh, controller that you have and what firmware version that you're on. And if you click on the firmware that you're currently on, you can read through the instructions here and it's going to tell you if you need to do a intermediate step upgrade or if you can just upgrade directly to the latest. So for example, in the table here, it shows firmware version 1.22 through 1.41. You can upgrade to 2.31 or later. But again, if you're on something older than that, it would suggest that you need to upgrade to an intermediate firmware and then go to the latest. So it would be a two-step process. Since the firmware is at a point on the controller that I'm going to upgrade today, we can take the uh, file inside here and just throw it on our desktop. And now I can minimize. And I have opened up our IP device utility here. And I've located the controller that I'm interested in upgrading. So it's a, a AS4111 kit. And as you can see right now, it's on firmware version 2.40. So we do need to take it to up to the latest. So you can just left click on the IP address, hit web page. And when you do that, it's going to bring you into the web page. It will of course prompt you for the ID and password. So you will just enter that. And when you are inside the web interface, you can click firmware update on the left. Right here, you can choose choose file. And then um, you can navigate to that file on your desktop, hit open, and then hit upload. Now, when you hit the upload, it may not respond for a moment. Um, you might not see the bottom bar here with the percentage sign increasing at first, um, but you'll just you wanna just stand by and let it do its thing. And it might take a few minutes, but the firmware upgrade will begin and then it will complete in just a minute or two. Now, this is the first step of doing firmware upgrades on GeoVision access control panels. There is a second step that I want to show after we are done with this portion right here, and that is the format of the SD card. Every time you do a firmware upgrade on GeoVision access control panels, you do need to format the SD card. You're not going to lose any data or anything like that but you do need to format the SD card in order for the panel to reconnect to the AS Manager software and for it to display all of the um, text logs or all of the transactions of when someone has presented their card to a reader. All right, so our firmware upgrade process is going here and now the panel is rebooting. So this again is a procedure that'll take a minute or two for the reboot process. So you'll wanna just stand by, you do not want to close your browser or anything like that. As you can see right now, um, the percentage is increasing and the bar is moving across the screen. So everything is working out fine. 
It says firmware update complete, reboot immediately. You hit OK. And again, just give it a minute because it will go through a reboot process here. Now our panel has rebooted and we do have connection again. We can go in and hit continue. Now, depending on what firmware version you have upgraded to and, and how old your firmware was, if you do the upgrade to the latest, it may prompt you upon next login to create a new password. And that is just a security feature that has been added to GeoVision control panels. So you aren't able to proceed with the original password. You do have to upgrade it to a more secure uh, password. So you will want to do that. Now, once you have logged back in after the firmware upgrade, Again, I mentioned that there is a second step that you need to proceed with, and that's the format of the SD card. So to get to that, over on the left side, you hit the other configuration button. And when this page loads, you'll see the SD card section right here. All you have to do is just hit format and hit okay. And again, it'll take just a couple minutes here, so just stand by and let it do its thing, and it will format the SD card. So our panel has gone through its reboot process here uh, after we did the SD card format. So we can now proceed in to the web page. And this would conclude the second step of the firmware upgrade process. If you would like to verify if your firmware upgrade went through, you can go into the IP device utility and you can scan again once your panel has rebooted. And once it comes up with the results, you can go through and you can find your controllers. And here's the controller. We are now upgraded to the version 2.41 firmware. This has been a demo tutorial on how to do a firmware upgrade on the GeoVision Access control panels. For further information on our product line, please check us out at www.geovision.com.tw/us. Thanks a lot for watching.